Hey everyone, and thanks for using Epiphany. Today I'm going to show you how to reference the value of a cell in your API request. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to use this Pokemon API as an example. And let's say that our API URL was this pokeapi.co slash api slash v2 slash Pokemon slash ditto. So we could run this API request as is. And then we'll import the results for ditto. But let's say we wanted to have the value for this part of the URL in uh, a cell of our spreadsheet. So let's say we want to have ditto in cell A1. We want to have Pikachu in cell A2 and we want to have Charmander in cell A3, and we want to reference these values in our API request. So all we need to do is replace ditto, and you can see the instructions for this feature right here at the bottom of this saved request. So the instructions say to wrap the value of, of the sheet and the cell in three curly brackets. So let's go over what that means exactly. So we want to reference the value for ditto from our spreadsheet. All we got to do is replace that value with three curly brackets to start. The name of our sheet, which uh, the value for ditto is located in the sheet Pokemon. So I'm going to type in Pokemon. And then an exclamation mark. And then the value of the cell. So ditto is located in cell A1. So I'm going to put A1. And then we're going to close it out with three more black brackets. OK, so let's go ahead and run this API request again. And once we run this API request, you can see that, again, it will import the results for ditto. And you can see ditto right here. So we can do the same thing with the other values we've entered. For example, we've entered Pikachu in cell A2. I can either um, replace this value with a2 or I can add a second URL to the same request. So I'm going to copy that URL, I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to replace a1 with a2. Perfect. So then let's run this request again. And you'll see that the data at the top is for ditto and the data on the bottom when we scroll down should be for Pikachu. There it is. So we got ditto, uh, data on ditto, and then we imported data on Pikachu. And we can do the same thing for Charmander um, and any other Pokemon we want to import data as well. So that's how you use the reference to cell value feature. You can also, instead of referencing a parameter, you can reference the whole URL if you want. So for example, instead of typing out pokeapi.co slash api slash v2 slash Pokemon, we can just reference the value, uh, reference the cell that has the URL in it. For example, we can see the URL, I've entered it here in cell A5. So I'm just going to type in the sheet name, which is Pokemon. I'm going to put an exclamation mark and then I'm going to type in A5 and close out the bracket. So now that uh, URL is for ditto, so we should see the data for ditto import once again. And there you have it. That's how you can use the reference, a cell value uh, feature in the Epiphany add-on. Thanks, and let me know if you have any questions.